For today's group adventure, we find ourselves visiting the Baghdad Cemetery in Leander, Texas. Probably one of the most famous cemeteries in horror movie history. The opening scenes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Right after the narrator speaks, telling us about the film that we're about to see, we get a date, August 18th, 1973, and then the screen goes black. And we hear what we later find out is somebody digging up a grave, that there is a grave digger problem here in Texas in the movie, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then you see these photo flash going off. of a badly decomposed body wired to a large monument. Subsequent investigation has revealed and an easier dozen turn empty up deputies report continue. that in some instances the Only head or in some cases had the been extremities removed. removed. The remainder of the corpse left intact. Evidence indicates the robberies have occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado. Now, I don't remember if they tell this in the movie, but what's implied is Nubbins. Nubbin Sawyer, who is the hitchhiker, he's digging up the grave. He digs up a body and he's, he photographs it. And then he props the, the corpse up on a tombstone and it's found the next morning. It's probably one of the most goriest scenes in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it happened right here. This is nuts. Now, before you get all bent out of shape, the tombstone and the corpse were obviously fake. Now, this is a real cemetery, but they actually brought in a prop tombstone and they set it up almost right where Jessica is standing. And you can line it up almost down to the down to the T. Like all the tombstones match up. Now, over here, you see that little garage. That wasn't here, or at least it was strategically outside a frame. But right about here. Jessica, go ahead and turn around and look at me. Yeah, this is, you're pretty much standing right where the corpse was. Occurred over a period of time. Sheriff Jesus Maldonado refused to give details in the ghoulish case and said only that he did have strong evidence linking the crime to elements outside the state. The story goes that when Toby Hooper and everybody came down here to film in Leander, Texas, when they found this cemetery, they asked the caretaker and he said, yeah, sure, why not? His wife didn't know that they filmed a horror movie here until after the movie came out. Supposedly she wasn't too happy about it. This is actually my third time in Austin, Texas. The first time that I ever came down here was before the Grim Life Collective was a YouTube channel. At one point, it was a website that I would travel to these grim locations, take pictures, and then write about it. And I came down and I did a, a road trip throughout the entire state of Texas, visiting all the filming locations. And this was one of them. But the funny thing was, I got here, it was so late, that I rolled in and I parked right over here in this little driveway part, not realizing that I was right next to the actual stone. Fell asleep, woke up the next morning at the, the crack of dawn, looked out the window and I went, holy cow, this is it, I'm here. Now, can you actually read some of the stuff that's here? Let's see. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. That's one side, what about over here? The other side of the tombstone says, in memory of C. C. Mason, born May the 5th, 1818, died May the 2nd, 1865. Age, I think it says 46 years, 11 months, and 27 days. Yeah, that's pretty specific, isn't it? Look at that. 
horror movie history, C.C. Mason. The other stone that could be seen in the movie is this one here in memory of, I'm guessing that's William N. Carruthers, born in South Carolina, ooh, December 4th. It's hard to read. <laughs> Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little sad. The last time I was here, this cemetery was surrounded by nothing but woods. You truly felt like you were out in the middle of nowhere. 2022, the time of recording this, looking across the street, I see barbecue places, restaurants, a brewery. There's a housing development that's over there. That looks new. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, I get it, I do. It needs to happen, but at the same exact time, it's sad. We get asked all the time to do a Texas Chainsaw Massacre filming location video. But to this day, we still haven't done one. And there's a couple different reasons. The first one being, everybody who has a camera and has a YouTube channel who comes to Texas does the filming locations to that movie. I love the movie. We're going to do one, I promise. The other one being, every time we come to Texas, we're only here for a day or two. And the locations to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre are so spread out, you really need to kind of just delve into it. With that being said, this November, in a couple months at the time of filming this, right now it's July, a couple days before July 4th, we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a Texas Chainsaw Massacre filming location video like you've never seen before. I'm excited about it and you're gonna love it. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre has a very special place in my heart. One year for my birthday, my grandmother from New Jersey came to Pittsburgh and she asked me what I wanted as a gift, a VCR or a Nintendo. And being a, a movie nut at heart whenever I was a kid, always watching TV and always watching movies, I asked for a VCR. She got it for me. Now, the place that my family would rent movies from was a video rental store known as West Coast Video. We had one in Ingram, Pennsylvania, just right next door to the town that I grew up in of Crafton. One of the largest, most dynamic video store chains in the country, West Coast Video. America's favorite video store with over 600 stores, many of them franchised. And I remember renting the Texas Chainsaw Massacre not knowing what it was, but because of the box art. I love the box art. All good horror fans, you know what I'm talking about. You fall in love with the box art. I took it home, and for whatever reason, I was up to like three, four o'clock in the morning watching this movie. All by myself, lights out, sitting on the living room floor in front of the TV with my knees. You know, on my knees and I hit play and what I saw terrified me I mean, after the ominous narrator telling you about the movie that you're about to watch and then after seeing the grotesque corpse draped over a tombstone the credits started the sunspots Oil storage units continue to burn out of control at the huge Texaco refinery near the Texas-Louisiana border. Three storage units exploded into flames during the night. In a completely dark room, it lit up my living room with this blood red color, and I remember that to this day. Now what's funny about this, of course, I remember the movie The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but to me, the scariest point of that movie, the scariest part of that movie that I remember to this day is the opening credits. How crazy is that? Another little 
<laughs> you're gonna laugh. Horror movies didn't really scare me that much whenever I was a kid, but I remember seeing Fantasia in the movie theater and the dancing brooms. <sighs> that scared the hell out of me. Just a little heads up. Things sometimes aren't right up here. They get a little mixed up. Aside from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre connection, there's really no other statues or, or tombstones that are here that'll make you want to come down here, I guess, unless you have family that's buried here, of course. But it's still nice to just kind of walk around and read some of the stones. Look at that. McDaniel. We visit a lot of grim places throughout the United States. Sometimes it's just nice to just take the time and take the day and just walk around a cemetery and just take in some of the architecture and some of the old stones. Like I said, unless you have family here in Leander, Texas, here at the Baghdad Cemetery, where you come down for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre opening scene. There's really not much to see here. It's so small and it's so quaint. But at the same time, it's one of the things that makes it nice. And the fact that you're kind of out here in the middle of nowhere, the wind just picks up. We saw one of those little dust, those little dirt tornadoes come by. I thought it was going to hit us. Instead, it smacked a tree and then it went off into the field. It's kind of cool. I was hoping that it was going to hit us and capture it on camera. With that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. This time to the opening scenes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way.